Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? That's right. What it do, man? For, oh, for the 240th time. Wow. 240 oh, times around goodness. the podcast world, if you will. This is the JB. Right. And Vinny Blue Review. You can follow up on all social media platforms at JB and Vinny Blue. All right. And on YouTube, you can subscribe. Right, tell your friends about us. You know what I'm saying? Five star reviews on iTunes, all that shit. We appreciate it. All right, we live stream. You know what I'm saying? On Wednesday, six thirty Pacific Standard Time, seven thirty Mountain Standard. That's easy time if you don't know better. And nine thirty Eastern Standard Time. We appreciate all of our East Coast listeners for tuning in, staying up with staying us, up tuning with in. Us. Johnny, you and the crew, what's happening out there? Johnny, the you. City of Philadelphia. Hey, mm-hmm. follow us on our individual Twitter at seven three King JB seven three and. At Benny Blue Eyes, it's always been that, and always will be. All right, we got a TikTok. <laughs> That's right, you got it right. Uh, at JB and Benny Blue, how we do? You know what I'm saying? Tap in, show love. You know what I'm saying? Benny is a master of TikTok. You know what I'm saying? At this point, so he's always putting great content up. Okay, available in the desert where I reside. Mm-hmm. Casualsports.com live streaming radio in Phoenix. You can catch our podcast, our velvety voices. You know what I'm saying? All damn day, all damn night. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always in rotation. I like the blunt, you know what I'm saying, a barbecue. <laughs> Feel me? Still want to hear our velvety voices, you know what I'm saying? One hot dollar, get that. All right? Patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. You know what I'm saying? Again, for one damn dollar a month. All right? That's yes. if you live in parts unknown like our guy Mitch and can right. only <laughs> listen on a transistor radio. All right? We appreciate you anyway. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? We got you. You know what I'm saying? Sponsorship, interviews, new music. Hey, man, it don't matter. All right? We appreciate it. All pub is good pub. JB and Billy Blue Review at gmail.com. Get yes. with us, though. You know what I'm saying? Especially for the new music. We appreciate that. We love giving love and yes. giving on site reviews to our new mem- uh, our music uh, people. You know what I'm saying? Our new artists. You know what I'm saying? That's dropping in good music, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, uh, you know, we, we got people come. selling shit. Right? We got people selling shit. You know what I'm saying? We got people selling right. shit, man. Because the Valley Boys Association, you know what I'm saying? As you see the shirt, you know what I'm saying? That I have on this is a Valley Boys shirt, one of my favorite ones they make. All right. The Valley Boys Association code, you know what I'm saying? Go to ValleyBoysAssociation.com and use the, uh, the the promo code PODCAST22 in all caps for 20% your entire order at checkout. All right. Check out. Just check off, right? Your entire damn order at <laughs> checkout. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's PODCAST22. Yes. All right. For 20% off. No. You want a car? New, used. All right. Don't matter. Our guy, it's him to buy.com, right? Free on vehicle, new vehicle, don't matter. Checks review. That's R E V I E U. I'm sorry, E W. All right. Two, five, one, five, four, 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 seven, zero, zero, three. Check him out on Instagram at Tim to buy. It's at Tim to buy. Uh, uh, on Instagram, look, this cat is, if you, if you don't follow his Instagram, this dude, man, it's got people holding up the strap like literally like six or seven posts a day. Right, this right. dude was getting people new cars like crazy. All right, congratulations to him on this beautiful new bride. You know what I'm saying? My boy Benny was out there with the guy, you know what I'm saying, showing love. You know what I'm saying? Some beautiful pictures on Instagram as well. All right, Benny, episode 240. Mm-hmm. All right, That's 240. right. 240. What's going on out there in La La Land, bro? Well, I'll tell you what, my friend. I may be seeing my Michigan Wolverines here at SoFi Stadium for the national championship. They keep playing the way they've been playing. Ooh-wee. We're going to get to... All that in just a couple of moments and of course some week twelve recap, including my kitties on Thanksgiving, your BG. Ooh, we've got to talk about what's happening going into the bye week and some week thirteen picks. But things are good, man. You know, hey, holidays coming around. You gotta you gotta make Jamie, this is this is the time of the year where you gotta reflect, but you also gotta make decisions. Mm. There are a lot of decisions that need mm. to be made. But I'm grateful. I'm yes. grateful for, for, for what I have in, in my in my health, in my yes. building wealth, yes. and you as my partner in crime and not Same only friendship. Way. But this podcast thing, so that's how I'm feeling. But how are you? How are you doing out there? How 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 is how's morale in the desert, good sir? I mean, I don't know. If, I can't speak for nobody else, but my shit is as low as a fucking snail belly. Like, I, Ooh, hey, look, I, I got no faith in my squad no more, man. I love them again. I'm gonna continue to love them, but I just have no faith in them. Especially, I thank you. That's that's like the perfect soundbite. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying for what I feel for these Cardinals guys. For you young motherfuckers, don't know where that's from. So the price is right. You know what I'm saying? Bob the old Barker. Bob Barker. Shout out to the rest in peace. Rest in peace to the recipe, late, great Bob Barker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who cared more about pets than he did people. All right, it's okay. but, Every pet uh, spayed, spayed or neutered. Spayed and or neutered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not true. I don't want to put that on that man like that. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just like, what? 
What? I mean, I, Benny, I have no more expectations, right? I have no more expectations for my Arizona Cardinals. Whatever they do at this point, it don't surprise me. It don't make me happy. It don't make me sad, right? You see, I, if you follow me on Instagram or, or Twitter, you see I started putting the meth head chick up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, y'all just going to keep letting this happen, right? Y'all going to, y'all just really just going to keep doing this, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm, I'm look, I love you, but I, I'm going to be real with you, right? The shit's, the shit's depressing. It's painful. It's, it's fucking painful. embarrassing, man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, man. I've been thinking about this a lot all week. In the history, and I've never said this, in the six-year history of us doing this goddamn show, the only reason why I tolerate as much conversation about this goddamn team, the Arizona Cardinals, is because of you and your passion and how much you care. Because let's be real. I get if it. You, if you weren't down with the BG... I mean, it's bad enough we got my goddamn kitties. Let's start there. But if you weren't right. down with it, if you weren't down with the BG, man, Brother, these some look, of us, some of us wouldn't be getting none, none of this bro, airtime hey, again no, on the no show. No pub, no, no love, pub. no pub, bro. No love, no pub. And that's real, man. That's really than real. That's really than a one dollar bill, right? <laughs> Shit. We're gonna get to them. We're gonna get to the BG. We 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 got we got some skills to get into, including a game, Doctor Bridges. That oh, some people were talking some cash of money shit going in, as they do. It's rivalry week. You already know, but uh, let's just say it did not go their mm, way. We're and keeping we're it real goes it. wrong. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to that. But uh, let me get my theme music and let me do a quick uh, war joke real quick. Just let me uh, let me take this hat. Obviously, my my lovely locks. Let me go business. ahead and slide this on real hell, quick, hell, right? Hell yeah, business. yeah, get it straight. Hell your yeah, business. That block it's down. about that block M. Nose. There we go. Okay. You can hear that, Tupac. You know what a time it is. It is time you know for time some goddamn back. when blues got time, baby. When you see that, that means you know I'm going to be going in. And we got to talk about it right now. Why you shouldn't be surprised that Michigan whooped Ohio State two I, if, years if you in a row. Really, if they were surprised, they just—it's just false hope. Yes. Give let it me, to uh, them. Let me let me sit. Let me sip my soda that I'm sure somebody spit in. As I, I sip my that. soda, that I'm sure somebody spit it. Right. <laughs> so look, Jimmy, you, you you were watching the broadcast. It was the big game. It was number two Ohio State versus number three Michigan in Columbus, a place that Michigan has not won until now since the year 2000. We're talking about like Tom Brady era. Last time they won up in there. And, of course, you're doing the college game day picks and the Fox Big Noon Saturday, and everybody's out for that. Everybody's calling for that that blood to run the streets, courtesy of, of the Scarlet and Gray. They're saying they're using words like massacre, mm. do this, and do mm. that. But the interesting thing about it is um, by the time you got to halftime, well, it, it was quite the balanced contest. Michigan deferred. They gave Ohio State the ball, and they went down there right down the first drive and scored. Fine. And everybody was calling for the massacre because they said, well, your Heisman candidate, Blake Corum, he's not going to play. That means you don't right. have any offense. That means you no can't chance. do anything. You have no chance no to chance. move the ball. No chance in hell. Shout out to the fucking not an ice cube, Not an ice cube chance in hell. Oh my God! Shout to Vin, fucking Vince McMahon's theme music. No chance, no chance in hell. Well, they did have, have a chance in hell, JB, because they score outscored hmm. Ohio State twenty-eight to three in the second half. Something like the Patriots Falcons Super Bowl, if you recall. And there was no comeback in this one. They gave them boys the work for the second year in a row, beating them by twenty plus by controlling the line of scrimmage opening up the pass game, making plays on defense, and being a more sound comfortable penalty free mistake free football mm. time football team jb i saw it once mm. the old buckeye bum started getting in their feelings and trying to headbutt cats and on the sideline about mm. midway through the third quarter i was like we got them mm. We're in their psyche and mm. it was absolutely positively true donovan edwards as a sophomore he had a mickey mouse glove on his hand i thought for the entire game he was going to fumble he ran for two long tutties on them boys after we broke their spirit in the pass game and opened up the run game jb i can gloat for i can gloat till the cows come home but it was a thing of beauty watch it, Benny, and, 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 it done. and rightfully so man you should gloat right listen 
I, I watched the entire game at, at work. I was at work watching this game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. our, general, our general managers happened to be from Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you know what I'm saying? We had to, had to have it on. You know what I'm saying? And, and had, to, had to have it showing. So, Listen. How was the mood in the gym? Like, what what was like? Were like was it like were there fans of either team in the gym being in the desert? I mean, it was invested. It's, it's, now, of course, you know we got so one of our one of our our, our, our senior VPs is an Ohio State fan, and Dwayne. I'm glad that they got their ass kicked. I'm just being honest with you. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that that Ohio State got that ass whooped. Uh, for all my Ohio State brothers, you know, what I'm saying that I played with. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Y'all know how I feel about Ohio State. I've said it to y'all. I've mentioned it to y'all multiple times. And I am not a fan of that punk ass school. All right. And it just is what it is. All right. It just is what it is. Now, listen, what I saw was, and I said this before the game started to Matt, who's our GM, who's from Michigan. I said, listen, I said, Michigan's going to whoop their ass. And I said, here's the reason why. I said, they're going to make it real nasty. They're going to make right. it real nasty. They're going to make it physical up front. So the X Factor, man, you just want to keep it all the way 100. Was y'all's quarterback, right? This young man played out of body. He ran when he needed to, right? right? Getting first downs, keeping drives going, right? And that way, that opened up the offense, and it kept the offense open, so they never really got in those bad third-down situations that, that uh, my Arizona Cardinals stay in. Uh, again, you're going to hear these Ooh, shots yeah. all through the podcast. Uh, but um, this is what kept them above the line, if you will, above water. This is what kept them above water from even – a hint of them drowning, if you will, right? That's a metaphor. They just controlled the game. Okay, yo, Ohio State went out to score. Michigan didn't fret. They went out and answered, right? And from there, it was over, right? A complete ass whooping. LeBron James tweeted that. A good old-fashioned ass whooping. That's what he tweeted. We know how much of an Ohio State fan he is, right? Uh, and it's just what it was. So shout out to Harbaugh. Uh, shout out to the office coordinator. Uh, I forget his name. And he put together a masterpiece of a football, uh, of a call, calling a call, a masterpiece of a game. It don't get no better than that, right? It don't get no better than that. He'll have a head coaching job somewhere in, in, in ECAA. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. But it, but it was just, it was fun to watch. Again, you know how I feel about it, right? It's great for college football when the story franchises are good, right? So we got Florida State back on top, right? Balling good. We got Michigan in the playoff. Back. We got Texas Michigan, coming Michigan back. back balling. It, it, that's right. SC's back in the playoffs. Texas is on the rise, right? Hopefully Miami gets their shit together. Hopefully, Hopefully Miami gets Mark's their shit Florida. together. Come on, man, if the U, man, it would be so great if all these teams were back in contention. It would be so great. And then with the mix of all these other teams, you know, so like the TCUs and, you know, so like the U of UCLs, you know, so who are constantly having good success, right, right. and creeping around, you know, saying and showing their ugly head, like, Imagine Coach how Prime's great next home. Right. Well, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we'll see. It yeah. might have already done happen. Colorado, don't know Colorado no. Colorado, get the fuck out of Colorado. Hell no, it's not happening. Hey, but mean, USF? Hey, you know, he's from down the way, yeah. so who knows? But hey, Michigan, shout out to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to their block M. All my boys that I played with that represent their block M, man. You know what I'm saying? It was beautiful to watch. Uh, don't get no better. Now, I'm excited about this week. In college football, as you see right now, you know, what championship, saying, weekend. Right, championship yeah. weekend, of course, you know, saying Michigan will face Purdue in the Big Ten championship. Uh, USC is going to face uh, Utah, right? I think Utah Correct. State, right? Utah State, well, Utah, with, and the because they lost Utah. Utah, yeah, yeah and, they, and, they, the and they better and they better watch their ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they Utah, might get bounced out. You, Utah yeah. is not to be trifled with. I predicted this, Benny. I predicted that Utah is going to be SC. I predicted that SC is not going to make it to the top to the top four this year. I said they're going to be in the top eight, right? Top six, top eight. They're not going to stay in the top four. Just like TCU, I do believe TCU is going to get beat this week, right? Like Kansas I, State, okay. I just believe yeah. they're going to get beat. I, I just they, they trifle with the win loss category, win loss in the games. They've been on the on the fence, playing double dutch every damn game. Eventually, that shit's gonna run out. Your luck is gonna run out, and they got a bunch of holes in their whole thing. Like they're a talented football team, but they got some things that can be exploited. And I think Kansas State is right there on the cusp, and they're talented enough and they're disciplined enough football team to be able to do that. So yep. it's gonna be some upsets this week. Michigan won't be one of them, but <laughs> and 
Georgia, I don't think gonna be one of them. Right? Yeah, they play LSU. I mean, we, we eh. never we never know which LSU is gonna show up. Right, right, yeah. And that's right? a, and, and to your point, that's a that's a beauty of college. We're talking about 18, 19, 20, sometimes 21, 22 year old young men where emotion comes into play where you have to have a sound culture, mm. and that's why Michigan got it done. And you talk about JJ at the end of the day. JJ McCarthy is a five star quarterback out of Illinois, and yes. he's gonna be a he's gonna be a good pro. Now mm -hmm. the the five star argument is flimsy because at the end of the day, Ohio State's got a bunch of five stars running around, and a bunch of them are gonna have to leave, not having beat Michigan or won a natty, which is why they went to Ohio State. So right. now they got to go to the league and take that, right? right. So now mm -hmm. it's not about your star; it's about how you how you play when when the lights are brightest. That's right. It's and about who makes the least saw, mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. We saw JJ making plays, and the beauty of it is, I actually kind of liked how the season played out because the way that they were running their offense, there was no tape. On them doing this right. there was no tape on them doing this the entire season because they didn't have to and mm -hmm. jj stepped up when he needed to we're gonna get at least one more year of him and ohio right. state fans I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this before we put this to bed stop calling for ryan day's job it's called a right yeah right there yeah, were yeah, 10 yeah. there were 10 15 yeah, year like, stretches man, where we were waxing that ass right and that's yeah. what happens in a rivalry right like, it goes dude, back like, and forth right this cat is this cat is like he's good for ohio state that's one thing i do like i like him for ohio state Right, he, he's he's you know he's he's a, a great offensive mind, right? You know what I'm saying? It, it, I like him for Ohio State. You know he's had the success. So like, yeah, people are just so dramatic and so damn stupid. Like, come on, man, get out your feelings. You took an L, right? Now, nah, yeah, suck it up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> walk it, walk it off, baby. Like you, like you, you know, like you just you just took that you just took that L. All right, walk it off and hey, ice, ice up, son. Right, listen. You win some, you lose some, you let it fight another day in the words of the late, great John Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. And hey, JB, if nothing else, it is a rivalry again, my friend. And in the yes, words it of and it will be. Gump, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Ooh, yeah, buddy, buddy yeah. we're back. We are back. It's a game now. So, uh, reviewers, we just wanted to check in on that real quick. Uh, so, let me uh, let me uh, get on my, my board up here. Said that, you know, put that on real quick with the hat back on. Bam. Okay. All right, God damn it! Let's pay a couple bills here real quick before we get into some motherfucking recap. That's right. You already know we are sponsored by our guys, Valley Boy Association Clothing. Go to valleyboyassociationclothing.com and use code PODCAST22 for 20% off your order at checkout. Again, tap them with them. Get your stuff for the fall, for the winter, all that good stuff. Valley Boy Association. Of course, get our guy at cinebuy.com. Get your new or pre-owned vehicle text review. The 515-444-7003 or DM them on Instagram or Facebook at It's Tim to Buy. And of course, any sponsorship increase, interview increase, new music, hate mail, JB and Benny Blue Review at Gmail. And if you're just tapping in for the first time, man, please make sure to follow us on all social media at JB and Benny Blue. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube, our TikTok. You already know we get the exclusive content. And if you still want the podcast, patreon.com forward slash jb and benny blue for one hot dollar a month you'll get the audio and exclusive content and again our new live stream time 6 30 pacific 7 30 az time 8 30 central time and 9 30 eastern pow 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 all right man we gotta get to it i know it's painful but first let's uh start here uh with the kitties uh with some weak uh, week 12, I put week 11, it's week 12 recap. Uh, kitties, mm -hmm. all to the Bills on Thanksgiving, 28 to 25. But the way things are looking in the NFC and the NFC North, JB, is there still a wild card path for this team who host the Jaguars, who got a surprising win and a hell of a performance from Trevor Lawrence, 28 right. 27 over the Ravens last week? Is there a pathway mm -hmm. still for the kitties to somehow trip and fall into the wild card? Hey, listen. This is what I'm telling them if I'm Campbell, right? Just keep playing ball. We don't know what's going to happen. We can't predict what's going to happen. We don't know who's going to win, who's going to lose. All we can do is control how we prepare and how we play for the rest of the season. And we let the cards fall where they may. I know it sounds cliche, but that's all you can do, right? Y'all got all the pieces y'all need. Y'all play hardball every time y'all step on the field. Yes, there is a chance that there is a, what, eight seed? Right, there's a sneaky, sneaky seven, sneak seven. in seven. Yeah, yeah so there's there's a yeah. way you can get that seven. You if you get to that seven, you in there, right? Fuck it. And then once you're in, look, once you're in the tournament, it is what it is. It's a one game season every week. So, yeah, shit, hell yes, y'all got a chance. 
Right. Taking a look at the playoff standings right now, I mean, you have the G-Men who are sixth and the Commanders who are seventh who face each other this week. Then you have the Squawks who took a somewhat surprising loss from a, a team that was desperate for a win with the Raiders. And then, of course, you got the Falcons ahead of the Kitties, but they just lost Kyle Pitts for the year. And then fucking, you know, hop along Aaron Rodgers, your BG, the Panthers, Saints, Rams, and, and Bears. The a whole lot of yuck at the bottom. So, right. hey, man. They keep they keep staying in these games. I know Kitties fans. I know you're sick of it. Oh, you got to close these ones out. I understand that, but damn it, we're still in the mix. We're still very much in the mix. So we're gonna see again. And y'all still. So this is still. Oh, there you go. You. Right. Yeah, you're cutting out. All right, cutting so this this bit. the maturation of the Lions. Yes. All right? Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, this is still a part of that that maturation of the Lions. So you guys are still trending upward, trying to really figure it out while y'all are winning games and still in the hunt, still in contention. So yeah, y'all doing good, man. All right. Let's get to it. Goddamn Cardinals. There's a heartbreaker. 25-24 at home. They're falling to 4-8. and eight. Kyler Murray called in the press conference and said, schematically, we're fucked. Holy shit, JB. They're in a bye week this week. Good God. Talk to the people. What what the hell's happening? Again, uh, y'all know how I stand. Y'all know where I stand on this, right? For Kyler to say that schematically, we're fucked. Basically, what he's saying is my head coach slash offensive play calls an idiot, right? Uh, whose nuts run up in his stomach when it's crunch oh, time. Man. There's no way in hell that we should have did went three and out three times in the fourth quarter. We should have sustained one of those drives to an eight, nine, ten play drive to take six, seven minutes off the clock to let our defense rest a little bit so they can go make a play for us to win this game. Right? Three and outs. We'll get your ass kicked every time. You, you have to show the defense something they haven't seen all game to keep it fresh, to keep it going, right? We weren't even running the same plays we were running earlier in the game, to be honest, right? So either keep it consistent and do what the fuck they can't stop, or you show them something different every once in a while, a little flash of something, and you have success with it. Now you're like, oh, shit, we can't do what we want to do now. We can't run this defense because they can do that too. Vance Joseph, stop blitzing so fucking much. Oh, my God. That was killing me. Yeah. Stop blitzing so fucking much. Sometimes you just got to fucking drop back and let them make a mistake. Because he would have did it. He would have did it. You got to let him make a mistake. Stop blitzing so much. Now, for all intents and purposes, I think Vance Joseph coached a hell of a game. For the most part. Until it got to be crunch time. You live by the blitz. You goddamn die by the blitz. And we die by the blitz. Mm-hmm. Right, like as yeah. soon as I seen uh, a little dude go in motion on that two point play, I'm like, yo, they coming to this side. I don't know who they throwing it to, but they getting somebody out of there so they can throw the ball right here. And they did to the tight end. He was right there, wide ass open. Fucking Isaiah Simmons in in fucking La La Land. <laughs> and Gerald Everett was making a little bit of hay. And the thing about it is, I'm watching their offense. I'm like, yo, like. Connor, Connor is 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 putting it on his shoulders. Connor was making plays and, and run they, they the fucking, somehow we you have to run the offense. I've said it. this. I've said this since he's been on our team. We got to run the offense through six. Todd Gurley asked when he was there with the Rams, right? You have to run the offense through him, right? He's totally capable of catching screens, catching flares at the backfield, running the rock. You know what I'm saying? And then you can do everything you want to do off of him. And one thing I do love, they start doing, they start doing a lot of read option, a lot of read option with Kyler, because now you got the illusion of him running it, him handing it, him pulling it, him throwing it, right? So, but that's what we're comfortable. Four wide should be our base formation at all times, right? Bro, look. <laughs> the, the, look, the, the, the dope head meme. So y'all just gonna continue to let this dude do this shit? Come on, man. This dude is trash. It's been proven this year alone. Like the not not even the last couple of years where he just fell off like a bad bag of that dope. We start hot, then we go cold. This shit is just bad this year. 
Now so it's JB, showing for real. No. If it if it warm if it if it warms your cold, nearly dead BG heart. I saw a clip of an interview with Sean Payton talking. And even though the Cardinals original history, as you know, starts in St. Louis, Sean Payton had a kind of a twinkle in his eye when he was talking about the Cardinals because they mean something to him growing up. He was there when they were coming to Eastern Illinois for training camp back in the day, and he has connections to the franchise. And he can work with a quarterback of Kyler's stature, and he can establish consistent culture. Now, Earl, our guy of KSRN, was saying that there's probably not going to get rid of Cliff because of the money implications. But do you Bro, think they just they have to rip off the band aid? They, they got to go get this care guy. About, they don't care about the money. Right? I wish people stopped saying that because he's a coach and his contract, a lot of it ain't guaranteed. Right? I promise you. Again, I'm going to say this. Have you ever noticed? It's been. Never tell you how much it's worth. They True. never tell you the extent of how much money a coach is going to make. They don't. Now, you might be able to look it up and see it, but then when they say, like, yeah, so also got a five year extension, that's all they say. Right? Players, so also got a five year extension worth this much money, possibly this much money because of if, if, incentives. Right? That contract, I'm pretty sure, is backloaded. It's five years, if I'm not mistaken. It's backloaded, right? For their safety. They're not stupid. They've been doing this for years. So you think they're going to sign this man and get stuck with him? No. They right. did that for a good faith effort to show, hey, we got faith in this cat. Just fucking fire him. Right? right. Just fire him. I think everybody's in position right now. We're pretty good with money right now. And nobody really needs a new contract for the next year or something near and a half two right and if they fucking start asking for money we're going to let them go we need to bring sean payton or a veteran coach into this organization because we have too much talent kyle murray again i want to say he's a winner he's won at every level of football he's played at that's not coincidental right it's because the kid has put his he put put his hard hat on his boots and he's put the work in and he's made the plays but with no guidance he out there floating like everybody else. Crazy, and I'm and so so. Kime and um, Cliff have been extended through 2027, but I'm trying to do some research right now, and it's unclear about exactly like what the actual um, the terms are, right? In terms of like where, bro, like what that would be bro, as far as they they you know, never they never expose that for a coach right. or a GM players. They do it all the time. They never expose that. Right, Kime, and I'm gonna say and this think, again. And think about this. Go ahead. So go ahead. Go ahead. Kime again, BG. I'm gonna tell you, it's not the problem. Everybody's like, Cliff and Kime gotta go. Why? Kime is bringing all kind of talent to our team. Him and the executive staff yeah. are doing their job. They're bringing talent to our team. They're making people right. want to come play for the Arizona Cardinals, right? And they're sustaining them at this point. Because we used to bring talent and lose talent. We used to draft talent and lose talent, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think they've learned their lesson at that aspect. We, like, all we need to do is put together some winning seasons, and motherfuckers are going to be dying to get to Arizona. Right. And, re and real quick, not, not, to, not to interrupt as far as what you were saying with Kyle, but the last point I want to make was, and you're seeing this with Matt Rule taking the job with uh, Nebraska, if they can find a way – for Cliff to get fired, but then he's transitioning back into a college job. Like if he's taking over, like hell, if Cliff gets hired at Colorado, they could right, probably lose it, right? Yeah, Colorado, that right would there. save the money that they'd have to pay him as a buyout. That way he can, because that that's how it works with the contracts. That mm -hmm. way he can get his salary from Colorado. That's a, that's why the Panthers fired Rule when they did because he yeah. be getting the college the job. Was, it yeah, saves yeah. them money. Right. It saves them money for the for what they had to pay on this contract that was left over. So that's the ideal situation because at the end of the day, Cliff, Cliff's a college guy. Let's right. just be real. He's just and he might even coach. be, he might even be like a college head coach, hey, he might be a college listen, coordinator. He, he he's still. not. I mean, listen, I, man, look, I, I don't know if he's much of anything at this point, right? Right. I mean, he ain't sure really showing much. I yeah yeah. Look, not still Cliff. Right. We know you can right. do that. Right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if anything comes out of this bye week. But that that's where they stay right now. Speaking yeah. of a team that's going in the other direction. Dr. Bridges, the Eagles get it done again in prime time, Sunday Night Football, 40 to 33. But old Radges, 
Hertz is oblique, plus he has the hand injury and got little glimpses of Jordan Love, you know, slanging some crossing routes, some check downs. Do you feel like the pack should shut down Rodgers to see what they have finally out of Jordan Love because he's coming up on the fifth year option? Hey, what man, are we listen, with this guy? Listen, you, you don't see what you have in a quarterback when your season is over, right? You don't put a quarterback out there, you know what I'm saying, to get eaten by piranhas, you know what I'm saying, your season's over, right? Yeah, he's come up on his fifth-year option, right? But at the same time, they ain't got to pay him for what? What what the fuck has he done, right? If I'm a GM, I ain't got to pay you. Shit, what the fuck have you done? So if Aaron Rodgers is going to leave us, and he is going to go out in a trail of fucking smoke. He needs to get healthy? Cool. As soon as he gets healthy, he's back on the field, right? Point blank period. We done paid your ass too much motherfucking money, right? You gonna play for me, right? So, no, we ain't sitting him down. Jordan Love, you 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 ain't showed a shit, period. When we played the preseason, when your Aaron Rodgers was hurting, you played a little bit last year. This dude is he's he's gonna be a good backup quarterback in the league for a long time. And that's a nice way of me saying that he's just not the guy, right? Mm-hmm. So one thing that is happening right now, Benny, this is a decent quarterback draft coming up, right? Decent. Emphasis on decent. Decent, right? And it wasn't even decent last year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at all. It wasn't decent at all last year. You know what I'm saying? Last year was a straight-up, like, defensive back draft or some shit, right? <laughs> yeah. But, nah, fuck that. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not starting Jordan Love. You know what I'm saying? He going he to play while, while Aaron Rodgers hurt. I'll probably sit Aaron Rodgers for one week and let him get healthy right. and then he'll get right back in the game. But that's what I mean. That's why I pose the question. Do you think because of Aaron Rodgers' is hurt, even though the season's essentially lost, just to see if they have a a a you know a transition, a changing of the guard finally to Jordan Love that they wanted all along, right? And maybe not next year, but you know what I mean? Like they gotta they gotta figure out what they're gonna do with this guy. Otherwise, like you said, he either is gonna be the backup or they probably gotta let him go. I mean, at this point, again, Benny, he ain't showed shit when he had opportunity to show shit. And you know, you know, you don't just fucking get a like, just fucking the light bulb doesn't go off and click. You're the first round draft pick, right? Anytime you test that field, you should see something that said, "Okay, you should see reassurance as to why we drafted this cat." Like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's it. That, that's why we got him right there. Yeah, nah, I ain't seen none of that, right? And he threw a touchdown when he came in, but I mean, we are gonna chalk that up to the receiver. All he gotta do is put the ball in front of him. That's what he did. The receiver kept running. Mm-hmm. Shit, he outran three people. Shit, that's a receiver. Great job. Right. Yeah. Love. You had a chance. You had a chance to win the game. You had a chance to show what you could do right there. Didn't do it. Right. No, man. Well, hey, it, this but but like you talk about you talk about chances of what he showed thus far. This may be his last chance uh, to show something. So last chance, you right? Yeah. <laughs> and I ain't talking about university. Last chance, oh, you. My God. Enough, right? Oh my God. You. God damn it. You. you. All right. All right, so uh, that's it with some recap. Jay, we're going to introduce a new segment here to talk about some teams that are a little bit on the fence in the NFC and the AFC in a new segment that we are calling Fire or Fraud, baby. Ooh, mm. we like that graphic that this quality, quality by nice. our production team. Got nice, there. nice. There is. All right, JB, first team, Fire or Fraud, the 9-2 and two Vikings. Their next opponent is hosting the Jets. Man, look, I'm going to go fraud. Ooh. I'm going to go fraud, bro. A Kirk Cousins-led team will never win a Super Bowl, bro. All right? And we know this. We've said this before. All right? They're, they're going to fail at some point. All they got to do is lose Justin Jefferson for, for some reason. And God forbid, I'm not wishing nothing on him. Right. That's a good point. Oh, that's it. If, he's, if he fucking leaves for two quarters of a game, they're done. How many fucking spectacular, amazing plays has he made to help them win games? If they lose that kid for two games, they are done. All right? And again, even if they go to the playoffs high, they're still going to get their ass whooped by somebody like the fucking Detroit Lions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? Or whoever sneaks into that six and seven seed. Because they're not going to be the number one seed. We know it's going to be number one seed. Philly. Right? I don't see Philly losing the fucking game, even though maybe one. You know, they'll finish what fifteen and two or fourteen and two, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I feel they're gonna be number one seed, right? The Vikings, man, fraud. 
So if I can say in fraud, okay. Oh, Ooh. Mitch, cover your ears. Mitch's Titans are seven and four, and they are at the link this week. Uh, I mean, with that beefed up D line, you know, what I'm saying I, I think the, the the Eagles will take care of the Titans. I don't think they're fraud. I think they're gonna lose this one. But we know how the Titans do in December. They get hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, catch a little fire. I think I, I think they're gonna fuck around, and lose this, and then from there they're gonna push through. And they'll get what they need to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fire! Fire! All right. This one might be a little bit easier for you. The five and six bucks hosting the Saints. They'll win this game, but they 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 fraud. They I mean, well, I take that. So Ooh. They, they are fraud. Don't get me wrong, they fraud. But the problem is this: is that they're number one in the South, which ain't saying much, but. Right. They're and number the one of the frauds, right? The fraud of the fraud. Number, they're number one in the South, nonetheless, right? But they fraud. They get mashed out by whoever they play early. Ooh wee. Okay, the team that just beat your squad, the Chargers, at six and five, and they're playing the Raiders in Vegas. They fraud. We should have beat them. They fraud, right? They fraud. All that talent they got, right? That Herbert at quarterback. They fraud. They fraud. I'm sorry. Both can come back from whatever soft tissue injury he got. You know what I'm saying? They still fraud, right? They, again, we should have beat them. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They should right should be fucking five and six right now. You know what I'm saying? Going into a Raiders team that's getting hot. A little hot. Yeah. Okay. Fraudulent. All right. Team is getting a lot of pub right now because they've been six and one in their last seven games. It's the Commanders at seven and five. By the way, the Commanders, shame on you for that Sean Taylor shit. That shit was terrible. Yeah, that shit was that little, weak as was fuck. It, was it was like a wire. What the hell was that? It was like unfinished that shit, construction. Yeah, that shit weak Jesus. as hell. That's just another L for the Redskins organization. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like, because that's who did it. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, they're the facing the G-Men. The, 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 the Commanders are fire, right? Okay. They're fire. They, that, that big, bad defensive line they got is finally paying off. Right, they're playing good defense. Uh, they're playing sound offense. Uh, Heineke, you know what I'm saying, is, is leading these boys in the right direction. They're just they're just doing things Riverboat Ron style, right? And it's showing off. So yeah, they'll whoop the G men this week. Yeah, they're they, four and they, two they, on they the fire. road. They fire. Yeah. yeah, and the G the G men are four and two home. They and G men are seven and four. So this is a very pivotal NFC East game. So hey, they might be catching fire, baby. Speaking of potential fire, it's the Bungles. They're at seven and four, and they they have a huge one this week, Jimmy. They're hosting the Chiefs. Ooh. God damn! Now they they're they're fire. Don't get it wrong. Uh, but beating these boys, they playing. Huh. I don't know about all that. We talk about that. You know, so we do our picks, but they fire. They fire. You know what I'm saying? They they do their thing. The offensive yeah. line is starting to just starting to seal up a little bit and be be more consistent. Protecting a uh, little, little little Joey a little bit, but yeah, they fire. Okay. How about the thing? The eight and three Cowboys. Their next opponent is the Colts. Sunday night, I think. Mm -hmm. I believe it's Sunday night football. Yeah, they fire. Uh, I know where the Colts gonna beat them. I mean, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, what the Cowboys gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, are, are they gonna push through? Are they gonna be? You know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Are they gonna? Right I, I do not. I, I know this. There might be three teams from the NFC East in the playoffs. All right. So. We gonna see. That's crazy. Yep, that's true. Very problem. I mean, the most competitive division of football, definitely them. Most competitive, yeah. And finally, the other New York team, the J E T S Jets, 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 with Mike White seven and four at the Vikings. Fraud. Oh. Fraud. Ooh. Fraud. <laughs> Homie had a good game last week. Came out gun slinging, but the Vikings gonna take it to him. Fraud. And everybody else is gonna take it to him too going forward. They, they, Salah again. I rock with Salah as a coach. I think he's a great coach. He's a player coach. He wants them to be, be successful. He is changing the culture around there, right? But this year, not the year for. Him. All right, there it is. Well, that's been, that's been fire and, 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 and they're and they're gonna, they gonna do something with that little punk ass quarterback they draft. They're gonna do something with him because Holy. he doesn't he doesn't basically show his bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why his ass oh, sitting in street club. The, the, the MILF hunter, Zach Wilson. God bless you, son. Right. All right. That's been some fire and fraud. Before we get into our week 13 Savage Picks, let's pay some bills again. Get our guys Valley Boy Association clothing. Go to valleyboyassociation.com and use code PODCAST22 
for 20 percent off your order at checkout and of course get our guides tim to buy.com get your newer pre-owned vehicle text review if i'm a 5444-7003 or dm him on instagram or facebook at it's him to buy he'll get you into the car of your dreams wherever you are at in the country and of course sponsorship interviews new music or hate mail please get at us jb and benny blue review at gmail.com jb real quick we're going to do a nfl.com for the people fantasy football league check-in uh leading the bridges division is our guy team nando at 10 and 2 followed by our guy mm. our, our girl michelle mm. who is at nine and three in second and then our dude mike who's lost two in a row at eight and four and in the blue division it's limitless kb eight and four followed by the savage duo at seven and five hotly contested there mm. in the for the people fantasy football league the winner gets 500 dollars donated to the charity of their choice and a guest on our show baby uh so before we get into some week 13 picks we got to see how we did after 12 weeks of football and with a drum roll please baby Jamie's at 102.75 and one, but yours truly is at 108.69 and one. Let's go over them right now. JB correctly picked the Bills to beat my kiddies. We both picked the Cowboys. I correctly picked the Vikings. We both picked the Bucks who lost. We both picked the Bungles who won. Both picked the Dolphins who won. Both picked the Bears who lost to the Jets. JB mm. correctly picked the Commanders. JB yeah, correctly yeah. picked the Panthers. Uh, we both picked the Ravens. We got beat by the Jags. I correctly beat, picked the Chargers. We both picked the Squawks. Both who lost, both like the Chiefs who won, the Eagles who won, the Steelers who won, and the Niners. We want to talk about getting hot, JB, who won. So that is it after 12 weeks of foosball. But we're going to get into it right now with some motherfucking week 13 savage picks. And yes, Mitch, we will be calling out your picks as well. All right. It's a mafia, mafia at the pants, dude. And the line is five and a half for the Bills on the road on Thursday night. Yeah, buddy, you know, Bill's going to get the win, you know what I'm saying? I know New England going to put up a hell of a fight, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what Bill Belichick led teams do, especially around this time of year. So, uh, Bill's get the win, uh, but New England going to put up a fight. So, you might not want to take that five and a half, but, yeah, Bill's get the dub. Yeah. We're going to see a lot, I think, out of the, out of the Pats offense, particularly with Josh Allen struggling, but I don't know that the Pats can match wits with them on offense in terms of score for score. So, I'm taking the Bills. And Mitch has the Bills as well. All right, keep it a moving. It's the Steelers going to that big Maybach. The Falcons, and the line is a point and a half for the Falcons at home. Pittsburgh, getting a little hot, man. I'm telling you, they're showing some flashes. Pittsburgh, I got Pittsburgh going to Atlanta and taking that W. I'm taking the Steelers as well. I don't feel great about the Falcons' offense of Kyle Pitts being out. And uh, but Mitch is going the other way. He is taking the uh, Falcons, but I am taking the Steelers as well. All right, boom, 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 boom. It's the Aaron Rodgers list, probably Packers going to the Bears, who I think might be without uh, Justin Fields. And line is two and a half. Yeah, he got the, he got the, he got the bad. He got the bum shoulder, right? Yeah. So yeah. So Rodgers, uh, he expects to play, I guess. And looking at Chicago, Justin Fields was limited, so I don't know if he's going to play. But yeah. Green Bay two and a half on the rope. Uh, no, I mean even if Green Bay plays, I think that they're going to end up hurting Aaron Rodgers again. Um, I just think Chicago is going to mess around, and make some plays on defense opportunistically to get a, a win uh, again. The Packers are they stick a fork in the done, baby. Right. <laughs> Hey, uh, this is kind of a pick em game to me. Mitch has the Packers as well. I'm taking the Packers as well just because I think their their receivers are finally starting to come alive. And if Justin Fields doesn't play or he's not playing well, I think it's going to be hard for him because they're, they're struggling just as bad, if not worse, than the Packers. So I'm taking the sure. Packers, but boy, I don't trust that line. All right, it's Duval headed to mm. the Kitties. And the line is a point for the Kitties at home, JB. Damn it to hell, I'm picking the Kitties, all right? I don't think Jacksonville is mature enough to go down to or go over, up and up, over to Detroit, you know what I'm saying, and play, which I know is going to be a fucking first game of the day. <laughs> like, right. Just don't think they're ready for that. So I got Detroit. Yeah, I mean, you know, kitties can definitely get it done. Right now, right? 
<laughs> kitties can definitely get it done. Uh, Mitch has taken the uh, kitties as well. I don't think the Duval's uh, nice wind is going to travel uh, to to the Big D. And hey, we're taking the kitties as well. Got Benny's All right, oh, there he is. Oh, he's back. There he is. Yeah, you, you you you've been freezing like crazy all no. night, my friend. Oh my God, we got we got you back just in time. For the J E T S Jets Jets Jets. You're you're kind of back. J E T S Jets 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 at the uh, <laughs> Vikings, and the line like, is three for the Vikings at home. Good sir. Uh oh, Doctor Bridges, we losing him. We losing him. Oh shit! It's one of those nights, ladies and gentlemen. That's why it's a live stream. Oh shit! Oh, we're gonna get it back. Well, I'll just keep keep going on this one. I am taking uh, the Vikings in this contest. Um, I don't trust the Jets to travel, and the Vikings know they need to get some things back on track. Mike White is a nice story, but I don't think they're gonna have enough from him in all three phases uh, to beat the Vikings. And Mitch is taking the Vikings as well. All right, keeping it moving. I got the Commanders at the G men, and the line is one and a half for Washington on the road. Now it's definitely a a I think probably a really a must win for each team. Um, definitely wouldn't bet this line, but I'm going to take the uh, Commanders, and Mitch is taking the Commanders as well. And speaking of Mitch, it's Mitch's Titans, Titan up Titans, going to the E A G L E S Eagles, and the line is five and a half. For the Eagles at home, I think the Eagles keep rolling. I think they can shut down or at least somewhat contain King Henry there, um, you know, on offense. So I'm taking the Eagles, and Mitch is taking. Mitch is not even picking his own team. He's taking the Eagles as well. What a guy! All right, Denver Broncos at the Baltimore Ravens. When you're in Baltimore, in the words of JB, got to be more careful. I'm taking the Ravens. I'm pretty sure. JB is taking the Ravens as well. Um, kind of a fluky loss um, to the uh, Jaguars last week, and Broncos are done. His teammates aren't even or aren't showing up to his goddamn birthday party. They're screaming at him on the sideline. I'm taking the Ravens, and Mitch is taking the Ravens as well. All right, keeping it moving here. It's the the Browns. Oh my God! It's the Deshaun Watson return special, and the line is only a touchdown, which is kind of surprising for the Texans. It's going to be mayhem in that stadium. They're probably going to be booing him like crazy. I would imagine. Um, I know some of the the accusers are going to be at the game as well. So, from a purely football standpoint, I guess I'm I'm curious to see how Watson does. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the Browns are going to be way too balanced with the run game to get him comfortable, um, and then ultimately. Uh, I think they're going to get it done. I think they're actually going to beat that that line as well. We got Heaven JB help. back. Heaven yeah. help. CenturyLink has the worst fucking Wi-Fi in America. All right? The oh, worst. All right? All right. I've been, JB, I've, I've been running through picks, so, so just, give, just give them to me quickly. So where do we leave off when you got cut off? So uh, Jets or Vikings, who you got? Uh, Vikings. Okay, you got the Vikings. All right. Commanders or G-Men, who you got? Commanders. Right, you got the commanders. All right. Uh, Mitch's Titans or Eagles? Who you got? Eagles. Right. You got the Eagles. Broncos or Ravens? Who you got? Quote the Ravens. Right, you got to be more careful. And Browns, the return of one Deshaun Watson against the Texans. What do you got in that one? I think he's going to come out like gangbusters, bro. I got I got the Cleveland. All right. All right. All right. Keep it moving. It's the. It's the Squats. I can't even give it to them no more. They just squats. <laughs> Punks. They're trying to fly out of the nest. They're going against right. the putrid Rams, and the line is five and a half for a game that will feel like a home game for Seattle on the road. Yeah, and I'm going with the Seattle Seahawks. Man, the Rams have met their demise, bro. You know what I'm saying? They'll never be the same. Uh, Sean McVay's offense has been exposed. People know who the fuck he is now. So, yeah. Yep, I'm taking these squawks as well, and so is Mitch. All right. Ooh, this is a hell of a matchup, JB. It's the Dolphins at Ooh, a Niners ooh. Game. ooh. And the line is three and a half. Yep, 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 yep. For, for Frisco at home in the big bell bottom. <laughs> I got the fans, baby. I got the fans. Go oh. Dolphins. Go Dolphins. Go I like this one. Dolphins. I see pick. Taking the Niners because at home and defense to contain and trick Tua. 
But man, I would not be shocked if it goes the other way. I'm really excited for this game. So I'm taking I'm taking Frisco, but it's kind of a home and away thing for me. And who does Mitch have in this one? Mitch has Niners as well. All right. If this is if this isn't the game of the week, this one might be. It's a Chiefs Kingdom going to that big chili bowl in Cincinnati, and the line is two and a half for the Chiefs on the road. Yeah, I mean, I just think the Chiefs end up getting it done late. I mean, I think you know it's going to be some wild shit going on. Cincinnati just has a knack for playing well late in the season since Burrow's been there, especially with the team they got put together. All they need to do is play solid on their offensive line, and they're going to do great things. So I think Kansas City wins it late. Uh, I'm cool with the line. I think they'll end up beating about three or five points, but it's going to be one. It's going to be a real game now. Yeah, I completely agree. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if this one comes down late, or, or Mahomes honestly makes some magic late to you know pull ahead. So I'm taking the Chiefs as well, and so is Mitch. All right, it's the San Diego, L.A., Barstow, San Antonio, Bakersfield, Superchargers against the <laughs> <laughs> the coming to life question mark Raiders, and the line is two for the Chargers on the road. I don't know. I think I, I think I think the Vegas Raiders are gonna be like the Undertaker after he left uh, Paul Bear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he, he ain't gonna really come to life very much. Uh, so listen, uh, I'm, I want to pick the Raiders just because I think that they'll just like I got Daniels being smarter or McDaniel's being smarter than our coach, but it ain't hard to be. Uh, so I think that they'll play tough, and I think that Vegas will end up beating them by the strength in the legs of Mr. Jacobs, you know what I'm saying, their powerful running back. I mean, see, here's the thing. I think this is going to be a very charged environment with the Chargers. Um I think the, I think the the Raiders know that they they they're they're going to be they're going to be talk about the Undertaker really in the grave. They don't get this done. Hmm. I think they're going to play them really well and find a way to fuck this up at the end. And I think the Chargers are going to go in there and steal one. Another um, one. So I'm taking the Chargers, and so is me. <laughs> steal another one, and Mitch is taking the Chargers as well. All right, it's Chad Cars Colts going against the. How about them cowgirls? I mean, them cowboys. And the line is nine and a half for the Cowboys at home. I uh, wouldn't take the line, but I'm definitely taking the Cowboys. I feel like the Cowboys will end up dominating this game late. Um, Saturday. Sorry. I'm sorry. I hadn't said this, but I'm going to say it. Uh, I think the coach of idiots are hiring Jeff Saturday. Uh, I really do. I know Ursay, that's his boy, you know what I'm saying? But I think they're stupid as hell for doing that. Uh, they had so many people on their staff that could have led that team better than him, right? You bring an outsider into your organization. I know he's been around the organization. He's like Peyton Manning. He's always around, you know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. But they don't know him. He ain't been in the trenches with them. No camp. No none of that shit, Right. It's going to start to show. It's going to start to show real ugly. Happened last week. It's going to really happen this week. Yeah, so Dallas is going to beat the shit out of them boys. Yeah, I mean, to somewhat of Jeff Saturday's credit, he's had them playing tough, but at the end of the day, they they need to they need to go out and they need to get, you know, they need to get the guy and make sure it's the right guy. They need to get the right quarterback, too. There's just a lot of things. They have a lot of good pieces, but they just haven't put it, really put it together. Culture all kind of messed you stop, up. You stop 28, they're pretty much done. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Matt, they got to move on from Matt Ryan. So I'm taking the Cowboys, right. and Mitch is taking the Cowboys as well. And finally, it's a little <laughs> the big gumbo bull baby headed to that Tampa Bay Buccaneer pirate ship, and the line is four for the Bucks at home. Doctor Bridges, I, I got the Bucks because the Saints is known. They don't know what the fuck or who the fuck or when the fuck. All right, <laughs> I mean, like some of the shit that happened in San Francisco is like, the fuck are y'all doing? So right. yeah, I'm gonna roll with Tampa Bay on this one. Yeah, I like the Bucks as well, and Mitch does too. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, we're we're getting that point of the season where they can flex some of these games. I really wish they would flex this out of Monday Night Football, but at the end of the day, this may be well, Monday, Monday, Monday Night Football is hard to change. Like Sunday night is different. True. Monday night very hard to change. Right? Yeah. True. You're right. It's a good point. But at the end of the day, it's like yeah, you know, not a great matchup, but the Bucks will probably get it done, go to a 500 record, and maybe they start to trip and fall in the in the way to win that NFC South. So there you go. You talk about the, the the four frauds. They just might be the leader of the pack. Right. So there it is. By week is JB's former employers, the Cardinals and the Panthers. Money making Mitch's pick of the week is the Vikings minus three against the Jets. Last week he had the Titans. Womp womp. They lost, and uh, he's three and five on the season. So we'll see who's right, who's wrong, who is both right, who is both wrong. And when we get to this point in the show, you know what that means. Hey, con- hey Carlos, congratulations. We're going to get a W this week. Woohoo. Yes, let's do it. JB, take us home. We need us, baby. What you got? Uh, nothing. I don't. Uh, just you know, treat your neighbor as you want to treat 
yourself. Again, I'll say it. Treat your neighbors. You want people to treat your kids, right? That's pretty much it, man. Other than that, we just, we're here. We're blessed. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how blessed you are, but you need to appreciate how blessed you are. Live in gratitude, all right? Stop walking around sulking. Stop waking up in the morning, regretting the next morning because your ass couldn't or shouldn't be here. Or baby, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's a chance that you couldn't be here, right? Benny, I ride to work every morning and I pass by people who look miserable, right? Uh, they're not celebrating life. Celebrate life, right? When you wake up in the morning, put two feet on the ground. Or if you ain't got two feet, put the one foot on the ground. All right, if you got nine toes, put nine toes on the ground. Get up, take a deep stretch, and thank God for another day of life right because there's somebody who can't do that all right uh, other than that man we appreciate your episode 240 all right we love you to death jb and benny blue on all social media platforms all right on youtube subscribe to us tell your friends about us all right let us know you know what i'm saying we out here giving this good content man you can't get this nowhere else man you know what i'm saying so uh outside of that you want to hear our velvety smooth voices all right patreon.com slash jb and benny blue that's one dollar and gets you that month to month. All right, that's one damn dollar. Okay, all right. So that's two Lucys at Julio's. You know what I'm saying? Two <laughs> Newports. All right. You want to hear our smooth voices out here in the valley? Casualsports.com. Word to Earl. You know what I'm saying? Live streaming uh, right here on the radio in Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? The beautiful Valley of the Sun. Shout out to the Suns. You know, so who are bringing me joy right out here in the Valley of the Sun. Right, I appreciate you guys. Got Somebody's got you. Goddamn, I appreciate it. All right, JB a bit of a review at gmail.com for every damn thing all right sponsorship interviews new music all right hate mail love mail we don't give a fuck holla at us baby we need that you know what i'm saying we We need to fill all that yeah i mean you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. episode 240 dog that's it we rolling baby in the books baby you know what i'm saying mickey scala all right mason mick december 16th right let me look at my calendar i just want to make sure everybody knows this all right December 17th, he got on the card, the Showbox card, Benny, right? He got on the Showbox card, you know what I'm saying? So December the 17th, that's a Saturday in Vegas, all right? Do the math. We're going to continue to post it, you know what I'm saying? When we get more information, we'll give y'all more information. Benny, we're going to be in Vegas December 17th. It's already written, all right? Yeah, I mean, so we're going to do great things, brother, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we appreciate y'all again. This has been the JB and Benny Blue Review, episode 240. Wow, that's it, man. Peace. Peace.